Are you really interested to know how to use image to improve sales? In today's video, I will show you how effective photos are at engaging your prospects and custom to, incre to increase their responsive. You will learn how to use imagery effectively to drive sales and improve custom relations. Some experts say that we are entering the age of your visual culture. Cameras are everywhere in tablets and smartphones. Entire social, social networks such as Pinterest and Instagram have been, have been built around imaging. Custom can interact with imaging to create lists and collection of favorite product images. According to study, 67% 60, of consumers say that they are more likely to contact a local business when their such result contains image. Additionally, articles that have image in them increase their view by 94%. Now that you are convinced that image are a powerful way to drive sales, let's look at some different kind of imagery and how they can be used in your marketing strategy. <clears throat> Infographs seem to be ve to be everywhere these days. The reason? They work. An infograph is a great way to organize and, and present complicated information in an understandable, understandable way. An infograph can be used to define a problem and demonstrate how your product or service can solve it. There are different there are different tools and resources available for creating infograph. <clears throat> Here is a list of uh, free infograph resources. Easily, this feature cost cost customizable free template that are easy to use to create infograph. <clears throat> Second one, visually. <clears throat> can be used <coughs> to create custom graphics. There, there is also a large community of designers available for hire. And the third one is Pic Picto Chat. Features a, a customizable editor that make it easy to create infograph with just a few clicks. Charts and graphs are a great way to present live data in a visual format. Google Developers is a, a service that displays live data on your website in the form of a chart or graphic, for example. <clears throat> you can also use photographs and graphics to enhance blog posts, articles, advertisement, and email blasts. <clears throat> There are several sources of free graphic and image. However, it is important to note that images are the property of their creators and many images on the internet are protected by copyright. It is not a good idea to Google for a random image and use them in advertising material or blog post because they might be copyrighted. Many photographers are getting nervy about protecting their image online. <clears throat> Copyright for images fall into three main categories. One is stock photo one is one is stock photo service such as iStock Photo, Get Images, <clears throat> and Dream Dreams Dreams Time of a high quality image that you can purchase the right to use. Two is called fair use. Under this type of copyright, the images are usually free or low cost, but limit the kind of situation in which the image can be used. <clears throat> for example, you might have the permission to use the image for personal use, but not commercial use. The third is, is public domain. Images that are in the public domain are free to use for any purpose. Public domain images are a great resource for marketers. Images enter the public <coughs> domain after a certain amount of time 
or because the photographs or artists have released them. Here are some resources for free or low-cost imaging. This site will, will, will specific, specify what rights the image are under. Flick Creative Commons Group, Photo 8, and the third one is Morg File. And here is the, be, the best MTTB21 system program that you'll get. You'll get. <clears throat> get below link and get in. Go and, and watch the presentation. Image can be used to steer emotions, communicate a message, and engage prospects. There are many ways to incorporate image into all of your marketing and communication. You can create them yourself using free tools or look to several free or low-cost image resources for images that you have permission to use. Lastly, just to remind you again, we post new internet marketing, marketing video I regularly hit the link below to subscribe or you can just you can subscribe to us the links will take you uh, to take you to my, my site where you can also see the presentation I hope you really enjoy the video and hope to see you on my next one bye and see you